Hey guys, so since nothing's happening this week, I felt like this could be a good time for you to get to know me a little bit better and um, in turn, I will be able to connect better with you guys and have a better understanding of who I am, where I came from, and what I like doing, and um, I'll just treat this as like a, uh, like, I'll just treat this as like a first date sort of thing, so. Would you be interested in a hand job? Bruh. Or, um, do you play, do you play sports? My name is Max Norman Liebert. I'm 22 years old, and I'm from Seattle, Washington. Seattle, Washington is literally the most beautiful place on earth, ever. Dude, look at this B-roll. You kidding me? Are you so serious? Look at that. Oh yeah, that's so f Anyways, I grew up in a, in a neighborhood called Green Lake. And I went to Green Lake Elementary School. Um, and then from there I went about uh, 10 blocks away to my middle school and then uh, from there I went about three blocks away from my house uh, to Roosevelt High School so my entire life has been pretty much secluded uh, to like a 20 block radius really <laughs> so I went to college at Western Washington University for a year Western Washington University was not um, a bad school necessarily, but it was definitely not for me. The people were not my people, and um, yeah, it's just not for someone like me. And I hated it so much that I said, okay, I need to work my butt off um, and get straight A's so I can transfer. So I literally made no friends, didn't do anything all year. I literally sat in my room and got good enough grades to transfer to University of Washington which was, again, like five blocks away from my home in Seattle. So, so I went there for two years, and uh, in my second year, I was dying. I was like, I need to get out of Seattle. I can't live here anymore. Um, I just, I need some sort of interesting life experience. I've done nothing except for um, I live in this 20 block radius and when I've left, it's been terrible. I decided I need to get out of Seattle. Recently, I was lucky enough to have met uh, DJ Vinny, Jack, and Jet, uh, so I'm insanely, insanely grateful for that, and I was uh, so miserable in Seattle, I was actually um, the most depressed I think I've ever been, uh, so I don't know if any of my friends out here know it, but um, they really mm, changed my life immensely for the better, and every single day I'm so grateful and so happy that um, I got so lucky and I don't know why or how it was me, but it is um, one of the best, most rewarding things that's ever happened to me. Just a few months later, I had some friends who I was going to write jokes for and then I moved out here and I didn't hear from them. <laughs> so it was kind of a, uh, that was a bad situation for me at the time. I was really scared because I just moved out here. Um, and I had nowhere to live, nowhere to stay, no nothing. And Vinny and I weren't even that close at the time, but I was like, hey dude, I'm in Los Angeles and I have nowhere to stay. Uh, what can you offer me? <laughs> and he was like, hey man, yeah, just come, come, uh, come hang out at the warehouse. What I thought would be like a couple week, maybe tops thing, um, turned into a four month sleeping on the couch in the warehouse during the summer so it was like you'd wake up and it was a hundred degrees in there and but you know that was the exact experience that I wanted that was that was the adventure that I was seeking when I left Seattle I at the time was having a blast and I now look back on that as one of the most fond memories of my entire life is just living in that warehouse with Benny and everybody before I moved out here I was working at a burger joint and um, going to school for finance, which um, finance is just not at all what I want to do with my life. I'm very grateful that I can do this now, uh, or this is an option. Not even that I'm doing it now, but I'm so grateful that I have YouTube and Instagram and TikTok and all these creative platforms as options for me, not even necessarily as things that I'm um, currently doing because I'm not making any money doing it. <laughs> 
some of my hobbies and my passions, things I love doing. I have always, always loved sports. Huge football fan, love my Seahawks, go Seahawks. If you're a 49ers fan, please unsubscribe. Um, recently gotten into climbing. I've, I've been having so much fun with climbing. I'll show a clip right here. I love fishing as well. It's sort of difficult when you live in a major metropolitan area with no lakes really, and when there are bodies of water, they're full of poop, heroin, and sludge. Dude, the amount of stories I've heard about like, of the lakes I'll go to, I'll look them up, I'll be like, I'll look them up because I wanna see what fish are in them, and it'll just come up with like bodies that were found in there. Not a good sign, dude, not a good sign. Obviously, YouTube is a hobby. I'm in love with YouTube. Traveling is another hobby of mine. That being said, though, I am in no financial place to be able to travel, so I kind of just uh, fantasize. I'll pull up a little photo on my phone of like the Maldives or Australia, and I'll just like pretend that I'm there. I'll just be in my room, like, acting like I have something going for me. What are my goals, dude? Yeah. Try acting, grow the YouTube, and um, maintain a certain level of happiness and make the people around me happier. YouTube would be one thing because being able to connect with you guys and seeing your comments and seeing how much my dumb little short videos are able to impact you guys and uh, the things that you say seriously um, have changed my life. Even if it's a tiny, tiny, tiny little impact on one person, um, my my life is complete so my goals on YouTube would be able to make enough of a living to the point where I could just do YouTube or social medias um, because I've never seen a job where you get so close to other people throughout and you're able to impact people um, for the better I could live forever in a Brad Pitt fart in burp room some other uh, interesting facts about me is I was um, voted designated driver in high school, so I think all my classmates thought I was a total loser. So that's cool. Shout out you guys. Hey, all right, chess. Well, hell yes. <laughs> hell yes. <laughs> So, I'm Jeff Bezos' long lost son. Here's another fun fact about Max. I feel like the biggest imposter in the world, and I feel like I have nothing to offer people, and that, I think, is my biggest flaw, is I doubt myself. I feel like I'm not good enough sometimes to be here, or I don't have enough followers, or don't have enough money, or whatever, um, for people to give me the time of day out here. Like, I'm just dead weight to a lot of people and that sucks. I let it get to me more than I probably should. I've, I've also just been struggling really bad um, money-wise. So I don't think I've had more than like $300 in my bank account since I moved out here. And that's also really difficult, especially when I'm surrounded by people who are so wealthy. Also, another thing that I absolutely love doing I wouldn't say it's a hobby, but it is like something I would love to be a hobby, is when you guys send me things to the P.O. box so I can open it on the channel, dude. If this is a fucking bomb, watch me get all excited to open up the first box from the P.O. box, and it's just like full of like baked beans and giraffe jizz, dude. This is actually, joke's on you if you sent me giraffe jizz, there's no way that's not worth a ton of money. I could clone giraffes. It smells fine. So I think we're good on the baked beans. I don't know what giraffe jizz smells like though. Let's open it together. Let's see what's in it. Wow, plastic, thank you so much. Okay guys, tune in next week. No, I'm just joking. Okay, come on. Oh my God. Look at how nicely put together. Dude, I'm fucking it up. Look at how nicely put together this is. What? Okay. Dude! I love crows! Crows are my favorite animal! One for every one of the roommates. Thank you so much. 
Dude, stickers? Who sent this? The, F, the fucking royal family from England sent this, dude. Look at this. Who's writing like that? Are you kidding me? This is actually the most amazing thing ever. No way. Fireball shooter, because we love fireball. We can't get none of that fireball. De La Rosa Mazapan Original. <gasps> Slabs of beef jerky, dude. In Mexico, you get the whole fucking cow. There's like little pepper bits on there. There's like little seeds. I know I'm gonna put this in my mouth. I'm gonna go into cardiac arrest because this is gonna be so spicy, but it's gonna be so delicious. Thank you so much. What? I'm gonna open this card now. What? Dude, it's photorealistic. Are you kidding me? That's not a printout? Adam. I'm like pretty bewildered. Okay, let's see. <gasps> Isn't that crazy? No fucking way. <laughs> More attractive than I actually am. <laughs> I'm gonna wear this right now. Like a fucking glove. Yeah, dude. This girl's sick. Right? Thanks. You put it up on the wall. <sighs> Three. All right. Check them. Oh! Fireball. <laughs> Hit it right now. <laughs> I don't want to. Just do it. I don't want to. <laughs> The Crow. <laughs> Woo! Yes! Oh shit. Dude! Bro. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, whoever said this, you are nuts. It's Mully. Mully? Yeah. You're nuts. Yeah. You're it's insane. Dude, look at that, that shit. That is crazy. She's studying to be a tattoo uh, oh, artist. Sick. Yeah. That's Go Jet. For me? For you. No way, is this a fucking shooter? A fireball? Yes, dude. Yo. They know you love your fireball shooters. Bro, Whoa, that's nuts. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> that's actually insane. This is fucking nuts, dude. Yeah, dog. If you guys want to make me and my roommates this fucking happy again, dude, please send stuff to the P.O. box. Please. We literally, it makes our whole months, dude. We love it. Thank you so, so much, actually, genuinely. This is like way, way more than I was expecting. You you heard what I was expecting? Fucking beans and giraffe come. Guys, please, please, please. Go follow, email. Oh, that had the phone number on it. Don't call her phone number. <laughs> Mali Toscano, thank you so much. I'll put her, her Instagrams right here. Ask her for some artwork. She's killing it, she's slaying it. Um, and if you want to send us more uh, stuff to unbox, the P.O. box is right down there in the description. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. You guys are fucking amazing, seriously.